Well, hey, Mitchell Brian, Pastor John here with an update regarding our uh, services moving forward. We did receive uh, instructions or permission from the governor, governor's office here in Nebraska to go ahead and begin services starting this coming Sunday or this weekend. Uh, Mother's Day is, is May 10th, and so we'll be able to meet together in our building uh, to celebrate that together. So very excited about that and uh, very thankful to the, uh, the leadership of our state and to the governor's office. We think that's fantastic. So we are going to do it a little different, so I want to prepare you for this. This. It's going to be different. There are some guidelines we need to follow, and we certainly want to ensure that we don't become a cause of, of uh, getting people sick if we can help it. So uh, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you this. It's going to feel different when you get here on Sunday or Saturday night. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to have the same service structure as we had before all this started. So we'll have Saturday night, 6 o'clock service, and then Sunday morning we'll have a service at 8 and then at 11. And so, um, and so a regular scheduled time for services this weekend. Um, uh, when you get here, it's going to be a little different. So I'm going to ask you to be patient with us, be gracious, uh, be, you know, be understanding because we're trying to follow uh, some guidelines to ensure again that, that we're safe as possible. So when you get here, we'll have some folks out in the parking lot, a parking team, and we'll release you from your vehicle, kind of say, hey, uh, you, you know, you can get out now. We want to make sure as we come in the building and get seated that we stay uh, spaced apart. And so that's real important uh, given the instructions we've been given. And so you'll be, um, you know, there'll be somebody there to tell you, hey, you can get out of your car now. And then there'll be folks directing you into one of three entrances so we're going to use three different entrances into our building of course we'll have security there so we'll we'll, we'll have everything covered but there, there'll be folks there to guide you along the way so just kind of look for instructions uh, follow their guidance but we'll uh, get you into the building walk you into one of the three entrances into the worship center and so or the uh, the sanctuary so we've got three entrances there so three entrances into the building three inches is into the worship center. And so we'll guide you into that. And then we'll have somebody in, in the worship center that's getting you seated. Uh, so you, you'll just be able to just follow their instructions. Um, you know, as we, as we seat, we're going to have to be separated by family groups. And so we got to make sure we have that distance between. So we'll be staggering the seating and making sure that we can all get in here. Um, uh, because we do uh, worship and sing together, I want to encourage you, if you've got a mask, Go ahead and wear that. That'll kind of uh, slow down some of the uh, some of the aspiration that happens when we sing. But um, but we know God is with us, and He's gonna uh, you know work us and get us through this situation. So but uh, what we want to be careful. We want to be safe. And so go ahead and follow those instructions. And then after the service, of course, we'll release you. We'll have the same process going out. So that just ensures that we're being safe as things go along here. Uh, you know, uh, if if we don't see big you know issues with this virus then of course it, things are going to loosen up and and so um and so but we're going to start this way just to be careful we're going to try to um uh, clean the church or we're going to clean the church before any of these services we'll clean it in between we'll try to disinfect all the surfaces that anybody might touch um you know um and so we're, we're going to do a good job here so i want you to have confidence that it's going to be safe um but uh, we're still going to have uh, an area in our parking lot where you can drive in and stay in your vehicle and watch the service, listen to it on the radio. So we'll continue to do that. We also will live stream the service. So if you just need to stay home, you can watch it from there. Um, I, I, we're gonna release some written guidelines. So I'd, I'd like you to look for that. We'll send it out via email. We'll post it on our Facebook page and our website. But there are some groups of folks that should not come inside the building, okay? And that is if you are, um, you know, an at-risk category. Uh, obviously, if you're not feeling well and you're you, you're sick, please do not come into the building. Uh, you you can uh, stay at home and watch at home. Uh, if somebody in your home is sick, please do not come. And uh, and if you're around folks in a nursing home or. Um, in a situation like that where people are inside all the time, then uh, we'd ask you not to come. Uh, as your pastor, I'm telling you, uh, do not feel pressured to be here just because we're having church. Uh, I'm not gonna be counting who's here and who's not. Uh, I'm going to believe that if you're not here, it's because you shouldn't be, and you're actually being responsible and following the guidelines to make sure that everybody stays safe. So I wanna encourage you to do that. Don't come if you shouldn't. Uh, go ahead and stay home and watch it from home. Uh, God is still, you know, allowing us to be together as a church. We're still worshiping together and then we'll get down the road. This thing will open up and there'll be a time when we're all back together again. 
uh, for life groups. Life groups, really, um, it's going to be up to you to determine what to do and how to meet. Uh, obviously, we still have technology that allows us to meet uh, with our computers and phones using Zoom, go to meeting, and so continue to use that. If your group does want to meet together, you certainly are free to do that. It's really going to be up to you to be responsible. As you meet, you're supposed to stay in groups of 10 or less. You're supposed to sit uh, distanced you know, from each other, but we know that the, you know, the, the state, again, is loosening some of these things up, and it really is going to be on you to decide. So you'll have to decide as a group what you want to do. Um, we, we do have the National Day of Prayer on Thursday this week. Um, and so we'll have a drive-in um, uh, experience for you in our parking lot. So you'll be able to drive through. We'll have prayer stations. You can stay in your car and pray. And so I encourage you to be a part of that. Uh, we'll also have a chapel open up here at the church where you can come in and pray. We're going we're gonna to get that done this week. And so just be watching. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll provide an update when that's available. We're trying to get that ready right now so that you can come in and pray uh, in the building if you want to do that. We know a lot of people want to be uh, want to do that. So we're working on that. Um, and so those are the things we wanted to share with you. Uh, we'll continue to have the updates as we go along. And so just watch for that. We'll try to keep you updated on, on what's happening and, and the, the opportunities we have to worship together and to be together and to, uh, to get into God's house. And so, um, so that's our update. Uh, looking forward to seeing you this weekend. If you're able to come Saturday night or Sunday morning, love to see you for Mother's Day celebration. Uh, we're starting a new series called Pray. And we're going to be going through uh, the, the, the um, wonderful blessing and privilege we have to talk to our Heavenly Father and to pray and to interact with Him. And so that's the next series. I know it'll be encouraging to you. So I can't wait to see you this weekend. God bless you. Have a great week.